Hello, I'm Wanderer001, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the Amazon app for your smartphone so that you can use it with your Amazon Echo devices or just for any of the other Echo Amazon related features, services that kind of all can live in this app. So let's start talking about what you get with this or what you can do with this application. All right, so when you first open up the Amazon voice assistant's name, who shall not be named, it brings you to this homepage. We are here located on the left-hand side. You'll notice that there are icons along the bottom. We will be going across them, but landing you on the homepage, it's kind of like a, here's what's happening currently. So you can see today is Monday, November 19th. Here is the current weather. Swiping up. Here is trending news. Again, things to try. Swiping up. Discover skills. Getting started. Skills. Continue listening to, continue listening to, to-do list, and so on. So that's the end of this particular area. So this is the Reader's Digest of what you might be interested in. Coming across here is your messages. Now I am covering up my name right there. Uh, you can see data was added. Here you will see if you've gotten any calls, messages, or drop-ins on your Echo device. So here you can see, meh meh, may call, meh meh, message. Play message. All of that information can be found here uh, under the communication. So you see up there, you got a little, if you tap on that little person, it will actually open up your address book. So I won't be doing that. Coming across to the bottom here, we're gonna click on the name that shall not be named. Uh, this will allow you to use your phone to actuate the assistant if you don't have a smart device. I do not need that, so I will not be doing that. Music and books, you can see here, recently played, going across the top, shows you things that you have recently played. Uh, you can browse for music from this location and just keep scrolling, and it will give you ideas of things that you may or may not be interested in based on what it thinks you might be on what you have looked at. Now, this last bit here is the newest bit, and this is for the home automation, uh, because they are really gearing this towards being a home automation hub unto itself. Going across the top here, you can see devices. So here it will show you all of my echoes as well as the speaker group that I've created for the echoes, uh, the light that I have, the plugs that I have, and whether they are in a on or off state. And then if I had any scenes, it would show up right there. I can also select all devices and it will just show me all the devices. Down here you can see I have specific groups set up. So here is a bedtime group. So this turns off, this turns on. Uh, here we have entertainment center. So two, two devices turn themselves on. Living room, two devices turn themselves on. Master bedroom, something turns itself off. And that's all using these commands. Now, coming down to the bottom, we have that speaker setup that I did. So I have multiple Echo devices. I set up a group called Everywhere, and this will allow me to play music everywhere in the home. So your smart home skills, clicking on this will allow you to enable smart home skills. So I have Wemo and TP-Link because those are the two smart plugs that I currently use the most of. If you wanted to, you can click on enable smart home skills, which will bring you into all of the skills that the Echo device can handle. Now we're gonna go all the way back because let's say we want to add something to this array of items. We can come up here and click the plus sign. We can add a device, we can add a group, or we can add multi-room speakers. So this is where you can set up those actions. So if you say add a group, you would be able to type in. So here we're gonna do a kitchen, even though we're not really going to do a kitchen uh, and I'm going to select next and then here you can select the devices that you want to be part of that and then you can say meh, meh, turn on or off the kitchen and everything in there will be turned on or off. Likewise if we come over to this area and we select an item we can turn something on or off so clicking on this will bring me into the plug for my fan in my bedroom I can see that it's currently off but if I click on that I just turned my fan on. You can't hear it because it's several rooms away. I will turn off the fan again. We can also create a routine from here. So routine is uh, having multiple devices do different things all in one shot. Now this is something that I had complained about originally with the original 
version of this app and the Echo ecosystem, I could not create a routine where things would turn off and on based on me saying something. Well, they have fixed that. So here you can see my good night. I turn off my Roku, turn off the TV, turn off the living room lights, turn on the fan in my bedroom and turn off the bedroom light that I have to 1%. So here with routines, you can come up here, select and you can create a new routine. So create and then you would walk yourself through that. It's fairly self-explanatory, which is what I really appreciate the Amazon app because they, they kind of tried to simplify it for everybody to figure out how easy it is to add plugs, remove plugs, and have things turn on. This is nothing like the app used to be. Now, you'll notice that there is kind of a pseudo hamburger button here on the left-hand side. Clicking on this will bring you into the overall settings for the Amazon app. Now, clicking on books and music, bring you back to this tab, whoop, this tab right here. So the books and music, coming over to lists. Here you have lists. You have a shopping list. You can add items. You can see I don't particularly use this feature, but you might. Then there's to-dos. So here is a to-do list of things that uh, my wife and I were apparently doing uh, when we were planning a vacation somewhere, because that's a barbecue place. Awesome. So if you wanted to create a list, you can come over here, plus press the plus sign, add a new list name, and then you can add items to that list. Reminders and alarms. Well, you can see right here, you need an, a reminder, you need an alarm. Timers, that all lives here. Contacts, I will not be showing you because again, that's gonna bring you into the contact list on my phone. Routines, again, another shortcut to that area I showed you over here in the home automation section. Things to try is just going to kind of suggest things that you may be interested in. So what's new, Amazon Music, shopping. So let's check this Mimet Talents. So here it's gonna show you, hey, if you do any of these, it will have it start doing something. Uh, I'm not going to have it start doing something because I triggered it originally when I was trying to do that. Uh, similarly with weather, you can select on weather and it's like, hey, what is this? So it's kind of like, hey, what can this thing do? So skills and games, again, it's gonna be a laundry list of skills and games that you can add to your Echo. Uh, they live in the cloud because they live in the app. I'm not gonna lie, 99% of the skills are pretty much worthless. Once you get your core set of skills down, you're not gonna be going in here all that often. Uh, occasionally, the Echo will suggest a skill based on a news feature of the day, and you can just say, add to my Echo, and it will add that skill automatically without having to come through here. Once I had my home automation skills and a couple of other core skills set up, I don't even bother coming here anymore. So here, if I click on your skills, it will show you 23 enabled skills, five just updated, and two that need attention. So if I come over here, these are two that I kind of abandoned. I don't really care if uh, Fitbit has access to my Echo. And this Ask My Buddy is something that I was originally looking into for my parents. I don't use it. So here we've got Just Updated, and that'll show you all the things that are just updated. And if we come back here, Enabled Skills, all the listing of skills that I have. So, activity. This is showing you everything that's happened with your Echo device. So I asked it to set a reminder. I've asked it question of the day, question of the day. If you select more, it will say, hey, did you find this useful? You can play back the voice recording if you wanted to. Help and feedback, well, that's just it. It is help and feedback for the Amazon app here. And it took a little bit, so Amazon, so it's both the app itself as well as an Echo device. If you had one, you can just kind of go through here and see all the things that uh, you may need assistance with. Now, settings, this is uh, more deep integration stuff, so I'm not gonna get into a lot of it. Uh, this is your your Mimit account, so this will be who's who does it belong to, device settings, you can change settings for each individual Echo device that's on here, notifications, if you need to change the way notifications function, you can come in here and change that. Communications, uh, again, this is going to tap into your address book as well as it does have Skype integration if you wanted to use that. Music, you can select this and it will show you the different music functionalities that can be paired with the Amazon Echo devices. Same thing with TV and movies. Flash briefing, you can set up a trigger phrase for it, that tell me flash briefings. And these are the items that I have set for flash briefing. I have NPR turned off right now, uh, but you can also click on that plus sign and you can add. The flash briefing does require you to utilize 
Amazon skills. Now, if uh, we go back down to flash briefings really quickly, if you select edit, it will allow you to change the order of the flash briefings because the order that they are listed here is the order that they will be read to you. Moving past flash briefings, if you have devices that have free time, you can set that up from here. So it's pulling in all of these uh, Amazon services into one key location for you. So we're gonna go back to settings, traffic, traffic I won't show you, but if you set up your home and workplace, this will allow you to have the travel time between the two stated to you from the Echo device. Sports, if you had sports teams that you wanted to follow, you could put them in there and just ask the Echo about them. Calendar, again, you can plug in your calendars into here and have the Echo devices tell you about your calendars. Lists, so again, this is just another place to get to that lists area, which I showed you before, and I'm gonna have it load. And then here you can see, you've got different list items that you can add. So if you wanted to use one of these specific vendors, you could. All right, hunches is kind of like if you, uh, you can read it there. It's pretty much, if your light is on longer than you normally leave it on, you can ask the Echo for hunches and it will kind of tell you, hey, this is on, maybe you want to turn it off. About is just that. It's about the, the Amazon app and gives you other information. And last but not least down there is the name of the person who the account belongs to. Coming back up here, the, the Alexa account area, will let you have recognized voices. So if you have multiple people on this account, it will, just like the Google Home, now start recognizing different people's voices as long as their account is actually synced to the Echo device. Voice purchasing, you can purchase things through your Amazon Echo and this is how you would do it. Uh, if you do enable this, I highly recommend that you put on the voice code so that you know, even if it recognizes the voice, it will not purchase something without you, you know, just having a kid drop something into your shopping cart. Voice responses will allow you to have the Echo device do a brief mode, which is rather than saying okay or, or whatever, it will just beep and that'll be uh, signify that it heard you. Whisper responses, uh, I like this. So if you go mimic, and in a whispered tone, it will respond to you in a whispered tone. So very helpful uh, if you have an Echo device in a bedroom. And then history, again, is just a history of actions that the app has recorded. And that has been a look at the Amazon Mimit application. Hopefully using this, it will make uh, navigating it a little uh, easier for you, especially if this is your first time actually using the Echo application, the Amazon app here. So I have been Wanderer001. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching.